the Prix de Brissac Novices Chase will kick off day two of the final week of the season. The top one is the Assassin for Joshua Sutherland, Barolo Viking, Martin Edom, Gase of Dawn, Leon Van Rensburg, Making Memories, Craig Allen, Pride of Paris, Paul Rhodes, Prospect, David Hooley, Swindy Home, James Shea, Badgley Gale, John Morgan, Dare to Do, Ryan Tamasebi, Modern Way, Leon Van Rensburg and Silent Fortunata for Craig Allen. Two mile, five furlongs the trip men for this one. And 11 of them. Facing the starter's flag. He's ready to drop it, and away we go then. Making our way to the first fence on this second day of the final week of the season. And Barolo Viking is the first one to show as they get to the first, and they're all safe to the other side of it. Now the grey Batchley Gale is just the leader from Silent Fortunata on its inside. Then Modern Way, Barolo Viking over on the far side, though, is now got back into the lead again, making memories on the rail is now in second as they sort themselves out, settle down and swing left-handed before they take this second fence. A bit of a mistake there. Got a couple of them towards the front, but Bruno Viking is now putting the pace to the race and is a good two and a half lengths clear of making memories in second. Is a length and a half up on the Assassin in third. The Great Batchley Girl closes to us is fourth as they take the third. And looking towards the back, the Leon van Rensburg pair are running together at the back of the field, Gates of Dawn and Modern Way. But Barolo Viking then leads into the fourth. And they're all over the fourth with the Assassin moving into second in the black and the red colours. The grey nearest to us is Batchley Girl. The two grey gallon horses making memories is the one on the far side. Silent Fortunata nearest to us as they take that ditch. And then Dare to do in the red with one is inside the green jacketed Swindy Home. The horse in purple is Prospect, and then Pride of Paris at the back in the green. And then the two Leon van Rensburg horses on the inside are Gates of Dawn and finally Prospect. Um, sorry, finally Modern Way. So Prospect is the new back marker then, and Barono Viking is the leader as they make their way towards the next fence. Barono Viking led over that one. With a clear lead of two lengths from. The Assassin on the outside of Making Memories. The Great Batchley Gale is settled nicely in fourth on the outside. Then Swindy home, getting a little bit closer. Then there's almost a line of four. With Gates of Dawn, Pride of Paris, Asylum Fortunata and Dare to Do. With Prospect and Modern Way just tucked in at the back. No more than a dozen lengths or so off the leader. Who continues to be Barolo Viking. But Barolo Viking did his best to get rid of the jockey. At that one, something which he's fond of doing. The jockey remains in the plate as they come down to the ninth and he took that one much better and the assassin has moved into second there Swindy Home has kept, crept through into third with Batchley Gale on its outside as they come up past the stand and they'll make their way past the winning post and over the water jump and then out for another complete circuit of this Oi Toy track and it's Barolo Viking who's in the lead by two to the assassin second then Dare to Do jumped up into third ahead of Batchley Girl and Silent Fortunatus. Windy Home after that one. Then Gates of Dawn getting much closer. Prospect has also moved through the field a little bit. And they're beginning to bunch now behind this leader. Who continues to be Van Barolo Viking. And leading by two lengths to the Assassin. Silent Fortunatus, Windy Home, Batchley Girls after that one. Modern Way is now creeping into it. And moving smoothly through into second there modern way but Barolo Viking is still the one they've got to get to as they get to the 12th good job there by modern way seen it go up alongside the leader the assassin is third Batchley Gale fourth side and Fortunata making a move around the outside gates of dawn is also trying to get into it now Swindy Home is still there dare to do is just drop back a little bit as they take the 13th and Barolo Viking is about to be swamped over the 14th with modern way just about in front then now the assassin goes second Barolo Viking drops back to third, then Batchley Gale and making memories, Silent Fortunata and Prospect, then Dare to Do, Swindy Home, Gates of Dawn, they're all still in this, Pride of Paris is just the trailer, they're racing down towards the 15th now then, and the Assassin led over that one, really good jump there by making memories, and seeing that one go on, he's giving Modern Way a bit of a breather, Barolo Viking is still there on the inside, Batchley Gale and Silent Fortunata still there as well as they take that Grand National style fence which was the 16th they've got three more to go and Barolo Vikings finally beaten making memories now going into a half length lead from the Assassin then Batchley Gale Silent Fortunatas after that one then Modern Way and Prospect as they get over to third from home 
and now Prospect has come through up the inside. It's all changed up top again. Even Barolo Viking has started to run on again. But it's making memories. Who's back in front? Making memories. Prospect, Silent Fortunata, the Assassin, Pride of Paris is also getting into it now. And one or two of those that made their move early have dropped right out. Swindy Home's gone right out like a light, but it's Prospect and making memories coming down towards the second last fence. And Prospect lands in the lead from Silent Fortunata, who's now gone second as making memories drops away. Pride of Paris is running on the Assassin. Looks one pace trying to come around the outside. He's dare to do over the final fence. They go, and it's Prospect in front. Here comes the Assassin. It's Prospect in the lead inside the final. Well on prospect from the assassin, Pride of Paris, Silent Fortune Arthur is gonna be ahead Bob on this one as they're racing up towards the line now. It's almost three in a line. It's the assassin just from Prospect. The assassin is just about gonna take it. I think the assassin from Pride of Paris and Silent Fortune Arthur with a close finish and exciting start today too. And the assassin living up to his name and assassinating them all on the line there with a burst in the final half furlong to take it the assassin wins it for joshua sutherland pride of paris for paul rhodes was second silent fortune for craig allen was third prospect for david Hurley fourth and modern way well, he was going to win easily at one point for leon van rensburg was fifth and looking back down there to barolo viking was 11th was still in with a bit of a squeak after jumping the last so a really tight finish there for the opening race on day two